Good morning. We are passing to the next semester, sixth, sixth semester of uh, BSc Chemistry. And uh, we start with the module Carbohydrates. What are Carbohydrates? Look at here. Carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxyketones or compounds which yield these on hydrolysis. So carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes. That means uh, aldehydes containing uh, uh, more number of uh, hydroxyl groups or uh, uh, aldehydes containing large number of uh, or uh, more than two uh, hydroxyl gro uh, groups or ketones with more than two hydroxyl groups or compounds which yield this that means polyhydroxyaldehyde or polyhydroxy ketones on hydrolysis such compounds are called uh, uh, carbohydrates so once again carbohydrates are polyhydroxy uh, aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones or compounds which yield this this means polyhydroxy aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones upon hydrolysis such compounds are also uh, called carbohydrates now carbohydrates are classified into two sugars and uh, non sugars sugars and uh, non sugars carbohydrates are classified into two sugars and uh, non sugars what are sugars sugars are carbohydrates which are crystalline in nature sweet and uh, water soluble so carbohydrates which are uh, crystalline in nature sweet and uh, water soluble and such type of carbohydrates are known as uh, sugars example for sugars glucose fructose sucrose etc now these sugars on the basis of hydrolysis on the basis of hydrolysis the sugars are classified into two monosaccharides and oligosaccharides so sugars are classified into two monosaccharides and oligosaccharides now when you come to the second type of carbohydrates they are non sugars what are non sugars non sugars are carbohydrates amorphous in nature not crystalline amorphous in nature tasteless and water insoluble tasteless and water insoluble example is starch cellulose etc this non sugars are coming under polysaccharides the non sugars are coming under polysaccharides so carbohydrates are polyhydroxy ketones or polyhydroxy aldehydes carbohydrates are broadly classified into two uh, sugars and uh, non sugars sugars are crystalline sweet water soluble substances example sucrose fructose etc and uh, sugars are again classified into two monosaccharides and uh, oligosaccharides the second classification of carbohydrate is uh, non sugars non sugars means they are amorphous in nature tasteless and water insoluble example is starch cellulose etc these non sugars are coming under polysaccharides first we discuss monosaccharides monosaccharides what are monosaccharides monosaccharides are carbohydrates which cannot be hydrolyzed into simpler compounds so monosaccharides are uh, carbohydrates which cannot be hydrolyzed into simpler compounds general formula of uh, monosaccharide is c h2 o n times c h2 o n times depending upon the number of carbon atoms n it contains a yeah, monosaccharide is called a triose that means uh, it's very simple if when n equal to 3 when n equal to 3 what is the number of carbon atom carbon atom is uh, n is equal to 3 means what is the formula c3 h2 into 3 6 o3 that means uh, when n equal to 3 the number of carbon atom is 3 
that type of monosaccharides are known as uh, triose so when n equal to 3 the monosaccharide is known as uh, triose and uh, when it is n is equal to 4 the number of carbon atom is 4 then the monosaccharide is known as uh, tetrose and uh, when n equal to 5 what is the number of carbon atom number of carbon atom is 5 that means uh, that type of monosaccharides are known as uh, pentose similarly when n equal to 6 uh, the monosaccharide is known as uh, hexose etc so depending on the number of carbon atoms uh, the monosaccharides are called uh, triose that means uh, when the number of carbon atom is 3 tetrose number of carbon atom is 4 pentose hexose etc monosaccharides containing an aldehyde group are called aldose monosaccharides containing aldehyde group i told you in the beginning uh, monosaccharides are carbohydrates carbohydrate what are carbohydrates carbohydrates are polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketone suppose if the monosaccharide is containing aldehyde group if it is polyhydroxy aldehyde then that type of monohydro uh, monosaccharides are known as aldol aldos and if the monosaccharides are containing keto group then they are known as uh, ketos then they are known as uh, ketos so if the monosaccharide is containing aldehyde group such monosaccharides are known as aldos if the aldehyde is uh, sorry if the, if the monosaccharide is containing keto group they are known as uh, ketos now look at here ribose what is the formula c5 h10 o5 is a aldopentose is an aldopentose what do you mean by aldopentose of course the meaning is that a pentose means there are five carbon atom five carbon uh, monosaccharides are known as uh, pentose and what do you mean by aldose that means uh, this monosaccharide is containing aldehyde group aldehyde group is there and it contains uh, five carbon atom now glucose we know that what is the formula of glucose c6 h12 o6 so what is the number of carbon atom that is six that means what type of monosaccharide that is hexose that is hexose and uh, at the same time we can see that when you when we go through the structure of glucose we can see that uh, the glucose is containing aldehyde group okay so it is known as aldohexose aldohexose and similarly we know that uh, fructose fructose the same formula c6h12o6 but what is the difference between glucose and fructose the number of carbon atom is same what is that uh, uh, c6 of course it is hexose but we can see that uh, the fructose is containing instead of aldehyde group the fructose is containing a keto group uh, there is a keto group present in the uh, fructose therefore uh, fructose is a keto hexose keto hexose keto means uh, a ketone group is there in uh, uh, fructose and the hexose means it contains six carbon atoms the structure of uh, ribose glucose and uh, fructose as i told you these are carbohydrates what, what do you mean by carbohydrates polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketones see look at the number of uh, uh, hydroxyl group one two three four polyhydroxy this one is aldehyde polyhydroxy aldehyde and look at here this is ribose and uh, ri what is what is ribose ribose is aldopentose why it is called aldopentose because what is the number of carbon atoms one two three four five five carbon monosaccharides are known as uh, pentose why it is called aldo because it contains aldehyde group so this is aldopentose example is uh, ribose now come to glucose uh, this is the structure of glucose you can see that uh, what is the number of carbon atoms one two three four five six carbon six carbon means uh, hexose and why it is called aldohexose aldohexose because it contains aldehyde group so uh, this is glucose is aldohexose and when you come to fruct uh, uh, fructose this is fructose you can see that uh, fructose is containing a keto group see there is no this is aldehyde group aldehyde group but here you can see that this is a CO group, a keto group, this is keto group or CO, CO group. So you can see that what is the number of carbon atom? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can see that here is a ketone group. This is the function ketone. So this is just uh, known as a, it is a keto hexose because uh, it contains 6 carbon and, and it, contain, uh, it contains a keto group. So fructose is a keto uh, hexose. Okay, clear. Okay, sir. So. 
uh, we will continue in the next class.